Um, you know, a lot of credit to, to George Mason. I thought they um, they executed their game plan tonight. They played very well. Thought they shot the ball really well, and, and, and ultimately, I thought they did a terrific job on defense. Uh, really, uh, you know, not allowing us to get comfortable tonight. Um, and you know, I think more importantly, they, they you know won the battle on the boards, and we knew we if we went in here and got out rebounded, we really didn't stand a chance to win. So you know, a lot of credit to George Mason. Are we expecting Charles to score a little more than he did tonight, especially going back to that last meeting? Yeah, I think you know for us for us to win, you know, uh, Charles has got to have some great nights, especially in environments like this. You know, uh, tough places to play against very very good teams. Uh, Charles can't be good; he has to be you know almost spectacular um, because we don't have a lot of other answers than that right now. But uh, uh, I thought you know we he included in all of us. We forced the ball a little bit uh, tonight, and and uh, you know we need him to. Uh, we need him to keep moving the ball around, and, and uh, you know we need him to score a little bit more. Schematically, was there anything different George Mason did tonight that would be? You guys shot thirty nine percent of the game, and shot fifty one and two percent. Yeah, I, I just thought they they were as a team they were terrific defensively tonight. I thought their overall uh, their pressure, their their team defense, uh, their overall approach to us uh, was 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 terrific, and that's that's ultimately why they won the game tonight. And they, their offense they seem to have such a diverse attack at this point. Do, do you, I mean, how difficult does that make it to, to play against? Yeah, I, I thought they were, you know, again, um, you know, we, we didn't, I don't think we played ter ter terrifically well in the mm -hmm. defensive end tonight, but, uh, you know, they were able to drive the ball, they were able to shoot the ball, and, and uh, you know, God, they made some tough shots tonight. Coach, to begin the game, George Mason really shooting well from the perimeter, hitting their first five three-pointers. Just talk about the uh, perimeter defense and the shooting by Mason early. Yeah, again, you know, credit to them. I think they moved the ball. They, they put us, uh, we were kind of running around and, and trying to get caught up all the time. And, and, you know, I have to give the credit to them. And, and uh, we have to get back to work and, and try to get back to uh, stopping teams and doing a little better job on defense. We let them get comfortable. And once they got comfortable uh, in their gym with their home crowd, uh, they've got terrific players. They're well coached. And, and uh, they executed their game plan tonight. You, you were perfect from the line in the whole game, but you only got there twice in the second half. Did you... Did you tell them to try to get to the line more as, as the game progressed? Or? We did. One of our goals tonight was to try to get to the line more than they did. I thought if we did that, we'd have a chance to win. Obviously, uh, we weren't even close to that tonight. Uh, so uh, it's something we have to continue to work on because we are a very good free throw shooting team, uh, but we didn't get to the line enough. Coach, second half, Charles Jenkins seemed to be the only player to uh, handle the basketball on a few uh, offensive possessions by Hofstra. Uh, was that something that you were looking to see, or would you have rather seen a lot more movement uh, yeah, we've got to get some more movement. Um, I thought we got a little stagnant. We got a little tight once they got ahead and, and the crowd got into the game a little bit. So um, we've got to get a little bit more movement. We've got to make the ball move and, and ultimately uh, get it out of Charles' hands and hopefully he can come back and get it, uh, you know, and, and then make a play. What happened when you rebounded battle tonight? Obviously, you guys battled down by 16. Uh, was it just a matter of Mason's size and strength winning now? Yeah, and I, and I think uh, fortitude. I think they just wanted a little bit more than we did. You know, we have to uh, we have to find a way. You know, on the road, I think you have to. You, you're not going to win if you get out rebounded like we did tonight. So we have to uh, continue to find a way to get some more rebounds. We have to team rebound. We don't have great size. Um, we don't have great strength underneath the basket. Uh, we've got a. You know, we had some pretty good defensive possessions. Just couldn't get a rebound. So uh, ultimately, again, you know, I have to give the credit to George Mason. They 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 really did a terrific job attacking the glass tonight. How difficult of a matchup was Ryan Pearson underneath tonight? Uh, he's a tough matchup uh, all the time. You know, um, he did a terrific job and, and you know, really uh, got a bu bunch of second chance opportunities for them. I thought he did, he did a great job tonight for them. Thanks, Thanks Thank you. Thank you.